Okay guys, so I wanted to show you uh, the antivirus that I've been testing out here lately. Um, I uninstalled Avast a little while back and I want to try out something new. Uh, nothing against Avast whatsoever. I just bought to try out different antiviruses to see how well they work so that I know what I can recommend to people who may have different preferences. Um, I've got to say, uh, I've been using Sophos uh, Home for a while now and it is incredible. I've absolutely loved it. Um, it's actually protected me against a few things that Avast didn't catch um, and I say that because when I did install this it actually removed um, a few infections that I had on here that Malwarebytes and um, Avast both did not catch um, and since I haven't done an actual full cleanup of my system in quite a while uh, it was actually quite impressive that this that it found a few things uh, just right after I installed it it's a cloud antivirus, so what it does is anytime you have internet connection, it's const it constantly gets an update. Um, it doesn't just constantly download uh, updates like a regular antivirus would. It's all it's all online. It just analyzes the threats online. It knows what to remove. It's extremely lightweight. It's so lightweight. Um, I, I what and it doesn't let you. Uh, you can see right here where it shows automatic virus protection, web protection and uh, pups detection, uh, potentially unwanted app protect, uh, detection. You can see where all of those are on and it gives you the option here for exceptions. So you can add an exception and it has a scan now button. That's it. There's no settings, there's no nothing here. That's it. It's extremely simple and a neat little thing is you cannot turn these settings off. You cannot just click a button and disable the protection. So an antivirus would actually have to kill the antivirus process in order to cancel out the program um, and what I mean by that is this is their website and it is free for Mac and Windows um, you can see down here uh, use the same award winning technology that IT professionals trust to protect their businesses um, you can manage security settings for the whole family from any browser and that's what I was talking about. You can't do it from within Windows. You actually have to go to the website, and it's free to make an account, free to download. Um, what it is is you log in, you sign up, and you can log in. And you can see here it loads into your dashboard here, and it shows you, and you can manage up to 10 computers in this for free. So for each account that you make, you can manage 10 computers for each account. Um, it shows you if there's any current alerts on there. It shows you how many threats have been cleaned, how many websites have been blocked, and when the last update was. And like I said, that updates throughout the day to keep the most up-to-date protection available. If you click on it, that's when you can go in and enable or disable anything which I don't recommend disabling any of that um, if there is an alert that needs to be cleaned it will show it right here you can run a scan from wherever you are so if you're off at work off at school or whatever and you log in or if you're a parent who's looking over your kids computer you can log in to your account and you can remotely scan their computer and if there, it shows right here that if their computer is offline it will be scanned when it's back online so if their computer is shut down, asleep, whatever not connected to the internet, the moment that they turn it on it's connected back up to the internet and it connects back to the account and shows that it's online in the dashboard then it will automatically start scanning which is really nice and you would be able to see any of the alerts here and it will let you clean it from here if any if any uh, threats are found it will actually let you hit clean on here to remove the infections um, you can go down through here and there's web category access so you can go through here and you can block any kinds of things or you can just set a warning for any types of things um, so if there's any sort of uh, stuff that you do not want your child seeing or anyone seeing, you can go through here and enable uh, or allow, warn, or block it, um, which is extremely nice. 
and then you can even add exceptions from the browser so if there's a file or something that you know is safe and you're going to send it to somebody if there's a website exception that you want to send or whatever you can add it to this exceptions list and then if you scroll down it will show you the device events it will show you what infections have been found um, which is just completely awesome um, all you have to do to add a new device is go right over here and click add device and it will um, download the installer for the program once it's installed it will show up on here you can name the computer whatever you want it shows the uh, Windows version service pack if it's 32 bit or 64 bit. Um, so if this was running, if this was a Mac, it would show whatever Mac OS it was running. Um, you can refresh the page to show the most current um, stats. You see whether or not it shows if it's secure or not. So very very cool. I just wanted to give you all a rundown of uh, Sophos. Um, I'll put the link for it down in the description. Um, again, it's free, so I'm 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 not an affiliate. I'm I'm not getting anything from this if you download this. Um, I just think it's super super cool, and I wanted to share it with you. Uh, it's a great option. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit the thumbs up. It really does help. Um, comment below with what antivirus you're using. Um, what other products you're using I'd love to see um, give me a shout out on there um, share this video with your friends if it'll if it help anybody um, I'll catch you next time when life gets you down you know what you gotta do I don't want to know what you gotta do just keep swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming 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 what do we do we swim swim Dory no singing oh, 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 Dory. I love to swim in Dory when you want to swim you want See, to I'm gonna get stuck one. now with that song now it's in my head. Sorry.